Yo, welcome back, guys. My name is Julian Melnick, and we are all about console gaming. Yes, we are button mashers and joystick thrashers, and we are going to get after it today. Today is all about TV or gaming monitor, which is the best for you. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Uh, gaming monitors. Uh, what is a gaming monitor? A mo gaming monitor is simply just an external monitor that you are going to set up and play your games on. We're finding out that it's a great solution for someone who wants to play a game at a high refresh rate in their office or somewhere that is not in the living room. Me, for instance, I picked up a gaming monitor to start playing these video games while my wife watches television. And it's perfect. It's an inexpensive and very, very awesome solution for that kind of situation. I don't have to go out and buy a TV and figure out where I'm going to put it. I can just buy a gaming monitor. And with the right size, you can get yourself a really, really good gaming experience. And now with these next-gen consoles able to put out games at 120 frames per second, we're seeing people look a little bit deeper than just the size of the TV or the size of the monitor and start to look at refresh rate, latency, and all these different things. So I want to break down for you what is going to be the best option and potentially the best alternative for you to get the maximum experience from your system. Now, let's first jump into TVs. TVs, we're used to them. We're used to these big, huge panels. They're less and less expensive from more and more TV, but we got issues with some of that. Some of the cons are refresh rate. We're not going to be able to take advantage Advantage that at full 120 frames per second and also there's a little bit more latency and what you're seeing on the screen and your input from your controller may not always match up perfectly for someone who's playing a game that's just beautiful and doesn't require reaction time maybe a really really gorgeous uh, RPG or some sort of run around thing not that big of a deal but if you're getting into any sort of competitive shooters or competitive game like that TV is going to be really challenging for you. People are starting to invest more and more in gaming monitors. And with gaming monitors, uh, we find that you can spend a lot less to get a lot more. Now, let's just right out the gate say these gaming monitors, though you can purchase one that does output 4K as an image, they usually aren't that. They're usually anywhere from 1080p to 1440p because the resolution that you're getting out of that monitor isn't the most important thing. In most cases, the frames per second and the output of that image is going to be the most important thing. So we look at stuff like hertz and refresh rate on the monitor. Now, when it comes to these monitors, there's a few things you need to look into. One is that refresh rate, right? That hurts what you're gonna be finding. Another is gonna be the latency. These monitors, brag there is only one to two milliseconds of latency whereas tvs are four five six at times now with that kind of response time and the higher refresh rate you are getting exactly the input that you put on that controller and you are able to experience a very very smooth type of gaming and i'll tell you right now i've played hades both on my gaming monitor and on my tv and though my tv does have much brighter and vibrant colors the smoothness of the gaming experience on my gaming monitor is incredible. Now, the colors aren't as vibrant and poppy, but the experience is better. And that's just because I'm playing the game and it feels so fluid. Not to mention the compact nature of my setup. I got myself my monitor, my computer that I work on, and my Switch all on one desk. It feels great. And if you're looking for an alternative to that living room experience and you want to find a spot for yourself, maybe you share with someone else, or you just want to have that little moment to yourself playing games this might be an awesome alternative or addition and that's the great thing about gaming monitors is they don't necessarily need to be a one-stop solution they can be an addition to your entertainment setup now when it comes to the output the 120 frames per second you're going to find that the experience on a gaming monitor is going to be a lot more fluid than that of a tv when you're watching something on the tv if you're too close you might not be able to hit all of the corners of the tv with your peripheral and you end up having to move your eyes around you get fatigued and it just is a little bit more difficult to play, especially on those really fast paced, fast reaction time game. With a gaming monitor about 24 to 28 inches and you're sitting at your desk at a normal range, you're able to see the whole display, get all of the detail because you're just close enough and really be able to capitalize on that image and have a more immersive experience. And it's, again, it seems weird that a smaller display might actually do you better, but because of the viewing angle and sitting so close to it, you end up having that immersive experience and it's really, really awesome. Now, the last thing I'd like to say about gaming monitors versus TV is the TV is going to give you an image that is a lot more vibrant than that of a gaming monitor for the price, I guess. I mean, you can buy a gaming monitor that's 4K OLED, but you're spending a great deal of money and it's just, 
the trade-off I just don't feel like is the best. You are going to get a big, solid 4K experience on one of those TVs, but if you're running an Xbox Series S with a gaming monitor, you're able to capitalize on that 1080 or 1440p, 120 frames per second, all for less than the price of a Xbox Series X. Think about that for a second. You can the Xbox Series S with Game Pass, all of the games available, optimized for the Xbox Series S, play it on a gaming monitor, and you got yourself 120 frames per second gameplay. That's incredible. That is awesome. And that is a really awesome solution for you to get into these high frames per second gaming. Now, what I want to know from you is are you more of a TV player or are you on a monitor? I know it sounded like I'm more of a monitor player, but I'm going to be honest with you, I am. These monitors aren't just for computers anymore, and the gaming monitor is making its claim in this gaming industry, especially for us console gamers. It's an awesome solution, and I think it's one that you should explore as A, a permanent solution for your high frame rate gaming, or B, a secondary solution for a gaming experience that you want to have that's independent from your television. Now, if you want to be a part of this community, guys, you like what I have to say, hit that like button and hit that subscribe. What that does is that says, hey, I like what you said. I think that is kind of cool. I got something out of it. And I want to be a part of this community. I'm a console gamer. I button mash. I joystick thrash. And I have a grand old time. We do stream twice a week. And I use my gaming monitor to stream. And we do that every Tuesday and Thursday from 7 a.m. to whenever we're finished. It's usually somewhere between 10 and 11 a.m. Pacific time. If you want to follow me on any sort of social media, just look up my name, Julian Melnick. That's J-U-L-I-E-N. That is E-N, not A-N. And you'll find me. And last of all, the most important thing, and I say this every time, and I mean it, I mean it, I mean it, I mean it, I mean it. Happy gaming.